डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड अदर व्यूवर्स होप यू आर एंजॉइंग गुड हेल्थ टुडे आई विल डिलीवर ए लेक्चर ऑन टॉपिक लॉरेंस करो इट वाज मैक्स ओ लॉरेंस एंड अमेरिकन इकोनॉमिस्ट हु फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम गेव द कांसेप्ट अबाउट हाउ टू स्टडी इन इक्वल इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम एंड वेल्थ इन इक्वालिटी इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम एंड वेल्थ and it is graphical presentation of studying dispersion a graphical method of studying dispersion dispersion in terms of distribution of income and wealth Lorentz curve can be also used. It can be also applied to know inequality in distribution of wages among laborers, profits among producers or firms, etc. Now, how to construct a Lorentz curve? What is the procedure for drawing? Lorentz curve from a given data. This we will learn in this lecture. Construction of Lorentz curve, or we can write procedure for drawing Lorentz curve. The first step is. to convert the values of variable and frequency into cumulative values take cumulative values of variable and frequency pehle hame data ko कन्वर्ट करना है क्यूमलेटिव वैल्यूज में इन सेकंड स्टेप वे हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस क्यूमलेटिव वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इनटू परसेंटेज टेक परसेंटेज ऑफ cumulative values of variable and frequency third step is draw a diagram and take or write percentage cumulative variable such as income on y axis jisko hum vertical axis bhi kehte hain vertical axis
and write percentage cumulative frequency on x axis जिसको हम हॉरिजेंटल एक्सिस भी कहते हैं हॉरिजेंटल एक्सिस फिफ्थ स्टेप इज टू ड्रॉ ए डायगन अ लाइन Starting from origin, and that should be drawn at forty-five degree. So, diagonal line will be forty-five degree. Ki hogi. That will divide the area into two equal parts. And this line is known as line of equality or line of equal distribution. Line of equality or line of equal distribution. And in the last step, plot the values percentage cumulative values of variables such as income, profit, or wage against. given frequency again as to given percentage cumulative frequency then join these Pointers to get Lorentz curve. जब हम इन points को join करेंगे, तो Lorentz curve draw होगा. To get Lorentz curve. And if Lorentz curve is away from line of equality, line of equal distribution, there is more inequality. If it is closer to the line of equality, then there is low inequality. This we will show with some example with the help of some data. Lorentz curve. इसे हम inequality study करते हैं. in the distribution of income and wealth or wage profits or ise hum graphically dikhate hain mean is with the help of karu jisko hum lorenz karu kehte hain how to draw a lorenz curve from a given data That is construction of Lorentz curve. First step में हमें जो data दिया गया हो उसको हमें convert करना है into cumulative values. जो variable होगा या frequency होगा उसके जो values होंगे उसको हमें convert करना है cumulative values में उसके बाद उसका percentage लेना है उन cumulative values का उसके बाद हमें y axis पे जिसको हम वर्टिकल एक्सिस कहते हैं वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल लेना है इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज क्यूमलेटिव वैल्यूज और हॉरिजेंटल एक्सिस जिसको हम एक्स एक्सिस भी कहते हैं उस पर हमें परसेंटेज क्यूमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसीज का वैल्यूज लेना है उसके बाद हमें ड्रॉ करना है एक डायगेनल लाइन ड्रॉन एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री जिसको हम कहते हैं लाइन ऑफ इक्वल द लाइन ऑफ इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज दिस डिवाइड इज द डायग्राम इन टू इक्वल पार्टस इन विच लोअर एंड अपर साइड 
और इक्वल टू ईच अदर उसके बाद हमें प्लॉट करना है द एक्चुअल वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज क्यूमिटी वैल्यूज अगेनेस्ट परसेंटेज क्यूमिटी फ्रीक्वेंसी उसके बाद उन पॉइंट्स को ज्वाइन करना है इन ऑर्डर टू गेट लॉरेनस करो and that will show how much is there inequality in distribution of income and wealth or in terms of wages or profits etc now we will do some example for example the data available hai wo hai data on income income per month जिसका मंथल इनकम भी लिख सकते हैं एंड इट्स वैल्यूज आर सपोज टू बी इक्वल टू थाउजेंड जो इसके वैल्यूज है दैट इज सपोज टेक इट इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड एट थाउजेंड नंबर ऑफ पर्सन और वी कैन राइट नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज नंबर ऑफ पर्सन फॉलोइंग इन दीज डिफरेंट इनकम ग्रुप्स आर सपोज दीज आर थ्री टू सिक्स एंड नाइन दिस इज ए गिवन डेटा given statistical information from this we have to draw a lorenz curve we will follow the same procedure that we have learned in this lecture in the first column we will write the values of the variable our variable is income per month monthly income and its values are 2000 4000 6000 and 8000 and total income is 20000 in the next column we will convert this into cumulative values the values of income will be converted into cumulative income cumulative income it will be equal to the first value of cumulative in income will be same as that of simple income it will be 2000 and this 2000 it will be added by 4000 which will be equal to 6000 6000 will be added by this 6000 it will be equal to 12000 and 12000 will be added by 8000 it will be equal to 20000 in the third column we have to obtain the percentage cumulative income percentage cumulative income for this we have to divide each value of cumulative income divided by total income 
it will be equal to 1000 divided by total income is 20,000 multiplied by 100 it will be equal to now use a calculator you will get the value equal to 10 percent similarly 6000 divided by total income which is equal to 20,000 multiplied by 100 it will be equal to 30 percent 12,000 divided by 20,000 multiplied by 100 now using calculator you will get the value equal to 60% and then last value is 20,000 divided by total income is 20,000 multiplied by 100 this and this will cancel out it will be equal to 100% now in the fourth column we will write the values of frequency In the place of number of persons, we will write it by frequency. Frequency means the number of persons who have received income equal to these values on monthly basis. And these are 3, 2, 6 and 9. Some total of these frequencies is equal to that is sigma f it is equal to 20 meaning there are 20 number of persons in the fifth column we will write the values of cumulative frequency we will obtain values of cumulative frequency The first value of cumulative frequency will be that of simple frequency that is 3. 3 will be added by 2 it will be equal to 5. 5 will be added by 6 it will be equal to 11. 11 will be added by 9 it will be equal to 20. In the last column that is in sixth column we will obtain the values of percentage cumulative frequency. And it will be equal to 3 divided by total frequency which is equal to 20 multiplied by 100 it will be equal to this and this will cancel out it will be 30 divided by 2 it will be equal to 15 percent community frequency is 5 divided by total frequency is 20 multiplied by 100 it will be equal to this and this will cancel out 50 divided by 2 it will be equal to 25 percent 11 divided by total frequency 20 multiplied by 100 it will be equal to 110 divided by 2 it will be equal to 55 percent 20 divided by 20 multiplied by 100 this and this will cancel out it will be equal to 100 percent now we have turned the percentage cumulative income and percentage cumulative frequency on the base of these values we can obtain we can draw Lorentz curve this column and this column we'll use of this column and this column we need in order to get in order to draw Lorentz curve to study inequality in distribution of income among these 20 persons.
Now we will draw a diagram for Lorentz screw. On x axis, on horizontal axis, we will take values of percentage cumulative income. These values percentage cumulative income, sorry, percentage cumulative frequency on horizontal axis, percentage. Cumulative frequency on horizontal axis, or we can say on x axis, we take percentage cumulative frequency, and on y axis, on vertical axis, we take percentage cumulative income. Percentage cumulative income. Now draw a diagonal that passes through the origin. This is drawn at 45 degree and this is known as line of equality or line of equal distribution. Line of equality or line of equal distribution showing no dispersion in the distribution of income among these persons, among these workers. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 90 and 100 percent. Similarly, write the values of percentage cumulative frequency on horizontal axis. This was percentage cumulative value of variable such as income on y axis on vertical axis. Now we will write the percentage cumulative frequency on horizontal axis or x axis. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent and 100. For this you have to make use of scale and pencil in order to draw neat and clean diagram. Now we will plot the values of percentage cumulative income against percentage cumulative frequency. Percentage cumulative income is 10 and percentage cumulative frequency is 15. Meaning there are 15 workers, 15 persons who share Cumulative income equal to 10 percent. 10 percentage cumulative income is equal to 10 and percent 
voltage cumulative frequency is 15 this will lie between 10 to 20 here it this point shows cumulative percentage income equal to 10 and percentage cumulative frequency equal to 15 next percentage cumulative income is 30 and percentage cumulative frequency is 25 meaning there are 25 persons who share cumulative income equal to 30 percent out of the total percentage cumulative income is 30 and this is 25 this point shows percentage community income equal to 30 percent and percentage community frequency is equal to 25 percent this will lie between 20 and 30 next value of percentage community income is 60 percent against percentage community frequency 55 percent this point shows percentage cumulative income equal to 60 percent uh, again as percentage cumulative frequency equal to 55 percent and the last value of percentage cumulative income it is 100 percent again as percentage cumulative frequency equal to 100 percent this will be the point 100 and 100 now joining these points we will write this point a b c and d join these points by dotted line we will get a curve known as Lorentz curve. This dotted line it is a Lorentz curve. Now its interpretation will be if this Lorentz curve is closer to this line of equality, line of equal distribution, there is low inequality. If this Lorentz curve is away from this line of equality line of equal distribution then there is more inequality and you can draw more Lorentz curve on the same diagram in the same diagram on the same plan depending upon the given data for example if we are asked to draw Lorentz curve showing distribution of Profit is among two firms. There will be two Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve for firm 1 and Lorentz curve for firm 2. In that case, we can determine, we can interpret how much inequality is there in terms of distribution of profit. Is. I hope you have got this. Thanks.